solutions that have driven industry growth. Guy Chirello serves as president of First Data, and he's been at the forefront of technology innovation in the financial services industry for more than 20 years. Guy has led product development and technology for three Fortune 500 companies. He's advised some of the biggest names in Silicon Valley and Wall Street, and he's been recognized around the world as one of the most prominent technologists in the industry. Please join me in welcoming to the keynote stage, Guy Chirello, First Data. Very similar, except for the type of connection with all those same capabilities. Uh, and more recently, 
recently Tolbergo. Uh, Tolbergo is a dongle radio jack, uh, audio jack based uh, component, fully EMV enabled, very soon to be NFC enabled in the marketplace uh, in a broad way, very simple to use. Uh, we're continuing to enhance the product line as well. We're not stopping here. Uh, there's a range of different innovations coming out both in hardware and in software. Uh, and I want to talk to you a little bit about those things now as we go forward. So let's take a step back. Clover, uh, the vision for Clover from the start was to try to accomplish what smartphones have done for consumers. Create an open platform to not just use the phone, but to have a web browser, email, a series of apps, a whole set of things that really become powerful in the hand of the consumer. We wanted to do the same thing in the merchant community. We wanted to do the same thing with our partners. Simple, powerful, secure, and open. Hundreds of thousands can use today, many thousands going out the door this week, uh, every week, and a strong validation for the platform. Uh, a couple of interesting statistics, just to give you a sense of the momentum. For the second year in a row, March 13th, sorry, March 14th to 15th, March 15th to 16th, 400 percent growth in the annualized transaction value flowing through this platform. Very significant. Millions of software downloads each year. Just a million in the last quarter. So the validation of the platform, the functionality, the growing simplicity, the ability for you to put your ideas into this platform to reach merchants and all types of businesses around the world is right in front of you. Inside First Data, and we know we have not been the easiest company to do business with. We have not made it simple. Um, so we created a mantra inside the company called Clover One. And people wake up every day thinking about Clover One. We have taken uh, what we believe are a smart series of acquisitions from uh, an internal incubator uh, called Insights, which is a data analytics environment, to Gift, uh, and Perco, which are acquisitions, the evolution of our e-commerce, the digital commerce platform. We've taken those components now and said, we have to make it totally integrated, simple to use, and continue to add on. So insights, security, gift, loyalty, checking are all part of our Clover One platform as we go forward. We're hoping this integration, this simplicity, this focus um, on a series of capabilities that we want to bring to every business owner to create long-term value uh, is really the mindset behind all of this. If we talk about simplicity for business owners, the idea is to create a seamless experience through a single contract, a single sign-on, and a single service experience. That's what engineers are working at at first day to day, not just building new hardware and new apps. What it means for our partners uh, is a similar set of things. An open platform, we think very solid APIs, and the ability to take that combination to create long-term merchant value. Your ideas can fit onto this platform very simply, very easily, in just about every segment of merchant category of marketplace. I think together, if we can continue to focus on that, we're going to bring you a set of ideas, a set of experience to our clients, eyes, as well as some emerging themes uh, that we'll touch on at the end that I hope will spur some thoughts, ideas, and give you a sense for where innovation is really headed as we think about first data in the community. I'm going to use a short video to give you a sense uh, for some of the things that we just talked about where it's headed. And then we're going to bring some of our clients out. Let's try the video. Clover changed everything. It was almost like having another boy on board. I really like the Clover because it's all app-based. It's easy to train my employees on, and I can easily access my business on my computer, on my iPhone. For me, I really have a tool that allows me to see the story with the data. Customer 
members are loving him with his crazy kids. Crazy ass. You can't hear me. Over gift cards has made it so much easier for me to give customers what they want. It's incredibly important that our checkout process work on desktop computing, tablet, or smartphone. Really, really secure, which for me is like a weight off my shoulders, something I don't have to worry about. It's all the same. Trust. And what that's done is it's just, it's brought back a great business for me and good business for profit. And that's exactly what this is about. I like the fact that it's always evolving. And that's the key, because we're still evolving so quick. And because the system seems to be evolving as quick as we are. So, yeah, who will like this?
we have expand, expanded our capabilities uh, to sell to franchises, retail chain, and you know, multi-million-dollar e-commerce uh, business. Um, they've been a uh, partner for Register ISO for Stata since 2010. We appreciate that. Well, Dan's talking about stage, guys. I'll get some of the questions for the CPP exam, and I had to pretend to take a fake phone call. But uh, Joe, give talk a little bit about um, Tolkien, uh, in the sense of, you know, you talk about the physical sense and the digital sense, but like, what do you think Well, I think the first thing that has given us tools, really cool tools that go out and market, um, to be able to start a conversation with business owners, really identify what they need. Because today's business owners are not only asking us to help them to accept right credit, they're asking us to help them help me to run my business. When you walk into a business location, often you see they have a cross sale system and then they have a tablet to manage the online ordering or you know a reservation <laughs> and then they have them on the laptop to manage the social media. So Clover um, has given us tools to go out and talk to the business owners, get rid of all this, get rid of the data of dealing with so many vendors, and this product is so powerful that you can streamline all this and just do it one How about, you know, we, we, I talked a little bit before we came out about the notion of the open architecture, the app store. You know, is that is something that has been valuable to you that you can use it uh, with your customers? How do you, you know, how do you see this approach? <laughs> Definitely. I um, mean, the app store is amazing. Uh, every, you know, so frequent, first day that I launch a new app on, on Clover, um, we're talking to the business owners and really identifying what they need and then matching out and recommending apps to help them to solve their problems better. Um, so, look, I think, you know, for, for those of you in the room, we're doing some of the best things here, but we have all this platform today, so we're up here. Thank you. 
He's making me feel good right now. That's right. He's here. He's here to build it. Uh, we also put our dialogue with us to say, help us grow our business and make it work. So for 2016, if you have a clover, you're in the clover ecosystem, you can have it for free. Ah, that's even better. Even hey, better. Load it up, you can have it for free for 2016. But it's not just the clover ecosystem, the apps. We're also finding in certain segments uh, that they really need really deep functionality. You deal with spas, salons, spin classes, one of the big businesses. Service based industry, definitely. Right? If you think about today, a lot of them, you go out and talk to small business, uh, most of the time people are calling up and they're writing down in a book to go to their appointments. Uh, more and more people want to move to on the go, but you know, they mobile device online and pre schedule those appointments. Most people don't know they make up a major segment of our small business sector. Um, so instead of me talking about it, I'm going to go ahead and bring our next partner out. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce Joshua Carter, the CEO of Booker. Josh engineers and guys engineers have worked where this is completely seamless. Um, you guys coined the term, and I, I didn't even know what I was trademark or not, but S Commerce. Sir, Sir Commerce, that's, that's right. right, that's right. Not not trademark yet, but you don't have to pay royalties. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> Tell us about service commerce, because you're actually creating like a small business segment. It's really large, by the way, with functionality within service. Tell us a little bit about that and also how you work with us to create that completely integrated seamless experience for, for a small business. Yeah, absolutely. So you know everybody's heard of the services economy, right? It's, it's a multi-billion dollar industry. We estimate that there's about uh, 10 million uh, small businesses in the service commerce space. And we define service commerce as really the end-to-end -end solution that a service-based business needs to really run all of their business operations, track their appointments, transact with customers, and then become buildable everywhere on the web. And that's basically like the e-commerce tool set for service-based businesses. Uh, and as you pointed out, you know, these guys really have different uh, use cases and, and problems that they're trying to solve. Uh, they you know, have been left behind largely by technology. Most of our sales, about 30 or 40 percent in a given month, are people that are coming off of pen and paper, disconnected point solutions, latency install systems that are interface with the web. And so they've really been struggling. And, and so the, you know, the solution set that they, that they need is something that helps them track every booking, every customer, every transaction, every payment. And on the payment side, it's really a challenge uh, for these businesses because most point of sale systems don't really address the unique use cases that they have. Um, everybody in here, hopefully at some point in their life, has gotten a haircut. And so when you go in, <laughs> we can help you on that probably with some of our purchases. So uh, you know, when, you, when you go in, you, you pay for the service, you pay for whatever uh, you know, appointment, but then usually you get upsold on other products. Sometimes they try to sell you maybe a series or a package or a membership. Um, and all of that has to be managed on one platform in order for everything to come together. So the next time you show up, they know actually how to you know, engage with you and, and what you're supposed to receive as, as part of your benefits. So that has to be managed on, on one platform. So it's, a, it's an important part of really what we do. I think when people think of service-based businesses, they think of just scheduling, and that's kind of the, the basics that you need to have. And so what we do is all of the service and staff management, we do CRM, point of sale. Um, we help them be bookable everywhere through places like Yelp, Google, and, and Facebook. Uh, and then we have marketing automation products that tie in and leverage a lot of the data. Time, I think that's really key. The integration where I have, one thing we heard in a while is small businesses don't want to manage all that. That's exactly right. I mean, they're, they're not looking to, you know, to have single point solutions because then the data doesn't interface and it's really hard to get in, in these world for, uh, for those businesses to manage that. So the integration, I can jump to you know, the integration that we did with First Data uh, and with Clover, it's really a, you know, a phenomenal integration and is bringing to market uh, something that just hasn't existed before. So we have the you know, service commerce system, we have the integration with the Clover platform, we have integration with payments, and now we're bringing something that's you know, very sleek hardware suite of services that uh, the first data has to offer. You know, I think for many of you in the room, we both saw Josh uh, and the Booker team as innovative, smart, uh, and, and a group of people who are moving forward in the industry. We understood this segment very well. Uh, I think we together had the foresight at, at Clover to build a semi-integrated solution. The notion was we didn't have a great eyes issue that issue, but we had the capability to create 
smart, intelligent, simple gateways to allow payments uh, from, in this case, Booker or some other you know, ISP partner into the Twitter platform. You know, Josh, maybe, maybe you know, quickly for the room, what I think about is how we connected the Booker team uh, and the Clover team in the Bay Area together to build this solution out. Maybe give the room, you know, a minute of background. Was that easy? Was that hard? Was it school thinking? You know, just to think of it, how do people have a sense of what it's like to partner? And then maybe give an example. Yeah, sure. So, you know, from, from a high level, we started out kind of creating a vision together as far as what we wanted to do. Clover already had a lot of the APIs already done, but again, due to the unique use cases for, uh, for service-based businesses, we had to collaborate with the architects and with the developers to come up with a plan uh, that really allowed us to deliver on the, on the right solution for the merchants that was, you know, easy for them to get up and running on and, and easy to configure. And so we found the Clover team in the, in the Bay Area to be fantastic and, and very high-quality folks. And uh, the solution that we delivered is fantastic. And we uh, we don't have an online too. We just announced the Clover online store, which we've got fully integrated too. Yeah. We'll talk about that. Um, the concept, you know, folks on the simple, fast, easy, which has been our mantra for our joint project team as it relates to it. Tell the story of that uh, first, that is uh, in Minneapolis or uh, Minnesota. Alexandria, uh, Minnesota. Really yeah. what that means to them. Yeah. The so again, you know, typical type merchant for Booker, a company that was running on disconnected systems, and uh, they wanted to consolidate it all together. Uh, we got them up and running on Booker. We got them through first data onboarding. We shipped the, uh, the Clover Mini to them, and I flew down a couple folks to go and, and make sure that everything worked okay. Uh, they showed up. It had already been unboxed. It was configured. It was running on their desktop, and uh, it was it was already there. So we didn't even have to do anything. We went there and, and just helped take some pictures. <laughs> I like that story. Can you get a thousand more of those? I'm going to work with that. I'm going to work with that. You know, anything, anything else that you, you see that uh, First Data can do to help you or any of the partners in the room can help to enhance your business even further? Well, I, I think, you know, the, the main thing for us now is that not only is it a commercial solution, but it's actually bringing a solution to the industry that hasn't existed before. So here's a, a product now that is the service commerce platform, it's payments, it's the hardware, and it's also available to be resold it through a variety of channels, and that, that hasn't existed in the past, so I think that's pretty cool. I think the part that we see about both of your businesses is that there's a, there's a continuous evolution. Um, the way people want to do business on each channel is sometimes how we categorize it. It doesn't matter if you start brick and mortar or you start virtual. Uh, the concept is people want to make sure that their customers can do business anytime, anywhere, in the place, and can work with what they, they would like. Uh, and part of the way we're thinking and, and all the things that we're doing is to enable that across the board. Um, maybe uh, I can give you a sense for where things, a couple of ideas of what happens here beyond Clover or beyond some of the examples. And, and part of it, it, it may not be exactly relevant to every single person in the room as a partner, but it's clearly relevant to every single person in the room as a user, as a consumer. Um, and, uh, and, and today, while we do uh, a range of things for SMB, we're also working with some very interesting partners. Uh, the largest petroleum company in the world, uh, one of the top three largest automakers in the world, uh, some of the largest QSRs in the world. Uh, these are companies that are really looking to take their product not only global, but to take it deep into a consumer base that they want to be more and more loyal. Here's just a couple of very quick examples because we only have a few or three minutes left here. Um, the first thing, and I, and I never would have thought this one, you know, when I first got the first day, first day, that the top petroleum company in the world would say, I want a better experience for my customers. In a very short order, we sat down together and created what I think is a very different and unique experience. Um, the fact that you can now pull up to a pump with your phone, turn on the pump, order your car wash, or the stuff that you watch on the convenience store, head to head, walk in, get it back in your car, that's what you choose to do, all from a single footprint, in a secure way, with full encryption, tokenization, and all the other aspects that go with transaction. Loyalty features built in, rewards program enabled, and so on, and so on, and so on. That's been done just over the last several months uh, with a company that I think you know most people associate with you know, fast forward move. The petroleum companies don't typically have that, uh, that DNA. Together, we create something special. If you go a step further, 
uh, and where this goes. Uh, with one of the top three automakers in the world, we're deeply engaged right now in the connected car. The connected car takes it one step further. In this case, the car has the built-in ability to drive the cars. You all have to do is drive up to the gas pump, pull in to the fast food restaurant, buy music, no more necessity for the special toll uh, passes that go inside the cars, and so on and so on. This concept car, which is not far from fruition in the marketplace, we're actively engaged in really making the connection between the person, the car, and the commerce both a seamless and exciting experience for people. And then, you know, an example that's probably closer to home for, you know, for many of you, it doesn't matter whether it's a single store operator, a 50 store operator, or a 5,000, uh, you know, franchisee chain. Our ability to scale this platform is occurring every day. Partners like the ones that you see on the page, we're doing a range of things from payments, loyalty, rewards, security, analytics. Imagine if you had 40% of the world's commerce, Visa, Amex, MasterCard, Discover, Credit, Debit, gift cards, go on and on, EBT, the information that you can collect from that to give back to the store owner, to the franchise owner, to give them the understanding and the pinpoint accuracy for, for uh, marketing as well as a range of other activities, all comes bubble with this platform for you and for your customer. That's how we're thinking about things today. And it doesn't stop with these partners. You know, it goes on to a whole series of them. I could have drawn this chart so wide uh, to give you a feel for exactly how we're thinking, how we're operating, um, and in a large way, the importance that we see with partner. We will not be the company that provides everything to everybody all the time. We will partner and collaborate with you in a variety of ways to bring these solutions to the marketplace. Because in many ways, we think you can deliver the client service, the client touch. Um, in a more effective way than most you know, companies in the world, but even, you know, even first data in some respects. So we hope we bring that advantage to you. That's our desire. That's where we want to go. Um, I'd like to just thank, you know, especially for Alan and Josh for joining us today. Uh, you know, really appreciate your business, appreciate you also putting your reputations on the line. You know, for us, we did not approach that the first time to say anything. I promise it was, you know, it was really open dialogue. We had open platform. You know, Dan and I, on behalf of first data, to thank all of you. We encourage you to stop by uh, the booth to have a little bit more conversation. We'd love to have a dialogue about different ways to partner with you. Uh, and uh, Jason, thank you very much for the opportunity to be here.